Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm super excited for today's video as we will be adopting a hamster. My last hamster, Oreo, did pass away about six months ago. If you didn't catch that, or if you're new to my channel, she did pass away from cancer, and it took me a while to get over her, but for the past, I would say about two months, I have been looking at Craigslist and my local rescues to see if there was a dwarf hamster to adopt that would need a home. And finally, just this past week, my local animal rescue has dwarf hamsters. Of course, the situation is not great that they came from, and I will leave that full story linked down below in case you wanna read it, but they rescued 41 hamsters from a breeding case. And these 41 hamsters were kept in two small cages. And the story says that there was live hamsters mixed with dead hamsters and inches of poop and soiled bedding. So I can only imagine how horrible these hamsters have had it. I'm super excited to adopt one and give them an entire 40 gallon tank. To enjoy. Today I will be setting up the new hamster cage. I have everything left over from my last hamster. Pretty sure I have everything I need. So we're gonna go ahead, set it up so we're all ready. And then tomorrow I will be actually going to my animal rescue to adopt one of the hamsters. So let's go ahead and set up this tank and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when we're done. So here's what the setup looks like. So as I mentioned before, this is a 40 gallon tank. We have some cool hideouts that I can see him through the glass. Also set one up in that corner. We have his water bottle, water dish, food dish in this corner. We have a saucer in this corner. Toys scattered all throughout. Sand bath and I have a bridge going in and out of it just to make it extra easy to get in because it is kind of a deep dish. I hide out in the sand bath, got this little bridge, and we have a night angel hideout. And then on top, we have a night angel wheel, which let me tell you, it's so quiet. It's amazing. I absolutely love this wheel and totally would recommend it. In fact, I will link this down below. So we got everything we need for the hamster. I am actually out of food. I thought I had some left, but I do not. So I'll just have to buy some food. For him but otherwise we're all set up it is now the next day we are here at my local animal rescue five of the 12 hamsters have already been adopted but the one that i specifically have my eye on is still available according to their website so we're quickly going to go ahead and head inside and hopefully he's still there so let's go After waiting about two hours, we finally got our little hamster and I did get the one that I liked from their website. So I'm super excited. Got him here in the carrier. Now we're gonna take him home and introduce him to his new setup. Overall, he's been adjusting pretty well to his new setup. He definitely enjoys all the space compared to being squished between a bunch of other hamsters. When I adopted him, the rescue had already named him and they named him Gregory. But as you can tell by the title of this video, that I did rename him and he is now Brownie. Brownie is quite the active hamster. I usually see him at least once a day, if not more. He just likes to know what's going on. And he's definitely a chewer, and he also loves to run on his wheel, but he also loves to pee on it.
I'm so happy that I was able to rescue this sweet little boy. If you liked this video, make sure you leave us a like down below. If you want to see more videos of Brownie, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And until then, live life to the fullest.